I'm getting ready to work this this joist out. This is the the log that I, I milled with my Alaska mill in the last video that we that we did, and I'm going to plane the top of it smooth. If you look, you can see this. It's got the chainsaw chain texture to the top of this uh, this log. It's going to be for a joist. I'm going to use this Makita planer. This is an older model. 1805B with the six inch blades in it. And I'm just going to walk back and forth until I get the, the chainsaw marks off the top of, of this joist. The reason that I'm planing this is I'm going to snap a line on it for one thing and I'm going to be marking on it with a pencil to lay out the tenons and the shoulders and it's just easier to mark on something that's smooth than it is something with a, a coarse texture. I'll get the bark peeled off of this and then I'll, I'll finish laying it out and I'll start to cut the tenons on it. Okay, I've got the, the joist up here. I put a level on it about where the shoulder will be on the end of the tenon. And I checked to see how level it was, and I did that on either end. And I had to twist this or cock it just a little bit back and forth. But when I got it level, I locked it down to the sawhorse with a, a one before. I'm going to take a hand plane, and I'm just going to check this on the other end of it. This end's real good and flat, and, and, uh, and it's level. But I do need to do just a little bit of work on the other end. As you can see, this is not exactly perfectly level. I'm going to take a little bit of wood off of this side over here to bring this level. I've got this planed level here. Now, I'm going to snap a center line on this. I'm going to use a blue line today. And I'm going to pull this real tight and center it right over that, that mark that I made. And I'm going to line that up on the inside of the long leg of my square on both ends on that uh, on that line that we snapped and then I'm going to mark on this side and this will be my cutoff right here okay that's going to be square enough for what we're doing I'm going to come back to my center line here. I'm going to mark at three inches right here. This will be my shoulder that will actually pocket into the floor or the seal log. I'm going to use the same principle of marking that as I just did to actually cut the end off. So I'm going to mark it right straight across that. And I'm going to go all the way down to the other end. I'm going to mark 11.6, just past the mark on the, the tape. This will be my cutoff, then I'm coming back three inches, and that'll be the shoulder. And I'm going to go ahead and mark my shoulder while I'm at it. I can get about a three and three quarter inch width tenon on this end on this butt end so i'm going to bring my tape out to 12 inches and set that 12 inches right on that center line and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to mark the inch and seven eighths and an inch and seven eighths back and i'm going to do the same thing right here at the end and then i'll connect those marks and i'll do the same thing here I'm ready to fire up the saw and cut that. Okay, 
I'm going to take this saw and I'm going to lightly brush this. Okay, I'm going to start paring this down. For some reason, I always like to cut, uh, do the paring down to the end grain first. And start working my way across there real lightly. Just bringing that down to the line there. Okay, I've got both sides of the tenon cleaned up and the little scarf cleaned up. Now all I've got left to do is to cut down this line here and clip that little piece off and put my little scarf in there and then clean this surface here like I did that and we'll have this tenon complete. This will be the fourth joist that I've, that I've worked out. So I'm gonna put a four on that. And I guess I'll draw a circle around him. Put him in a pen so he don't run off. And I'm gonna measure the width and the height of either tenon on either end. And I'm gonna write that down on, on top of that tenon. I appreciate you hanging out with me and helping me cut one of these joists. We do appreciate all of you that have watched. Please like, subscribe, and, and ring the bell. God bless you.